So now let's talk about file compressions, that is zipping and unzipping files and folders inside of Microsoft Windows 10. In order to work with that, I'm going to go to this PC or you can also go to File Explorer right here. And then you'll be able to uh, go to my documents right over here. So here's my folder right here. So this folder has some multiple folders in it and everything else. And let's say I want to send this out to someone, maybe email everything out. In that case, uh, you can to attach every single document and folder would be actually tedious. So I suggested that you zip it out. So now I'm going to go to document. This is the folder I want to send. So I'm simply going to right click and then I'm going to click on send to and compress zip folder. This is what you can do or you can select the folder, go to share option right here and simply click on zip. So what that does is it creates a zip file folder as you can see. So zip file folder is not like this folder. Let me just go to view right here and use an extra last icon. So you can see that uh, I have my icon right here and this is a zip file that it created. So it actually has a zip like icon. And if you have external compression software installed, then you might see a different icon. And zip is one of the uh, many compression standards which we actually use and is supported in Windows by default. So over here, you can see that this is the folder test tube. If I were to double click it, you can see that it accesses the folder inside the zip folder. So you can actually go over here and you can see the files. So let's say if you want to copy this out somewhere else. So let's say, for example, in my desktop, I can simply uh, go over here. Let me just drag this out, bring the folder right over here onto the desktop and let me close it out. You can see the zip folder is here. So I can double click out. You can access the files or you can extract it, meaning you can bring out all of the folders. So all of the folders have been saved as a file over here. So let's right click and then let's click on extract all. And once we do that, it asks me where I want to ex extract. So whatever folder it is on. So right now I'm on my desktop itself, or if you want to extract it anywhere else, you can click on browse and then choose another location. In my case, I just want to um, extract it here. So I'm just going to do that. I'm going to uh, click on this call. So extracted files when completed, and I'm going to click on extract. Once I do that, it creates a folder in its default form, as you can see, and you have all the folders just like that. Alternatively, you can also select folders. I'm holding control to select alternative files over here, and then you can send it to a compressed zip folder. There you go. There's another zip folder over here, as you can see, which I can bring out, and then I can double click on this and you can see those three files. So I can even individually select these files out and drag it out to extract them, or I can select all three of them and then extract this out as well. This is a compressed folder, so you can see that you have an option to actually extract this out. So you can extract it on the desktop. I'm just going to extract this out and you'll be able to see that on the desktop, it has extracted that folder. So zip is also a standard compression uh, file. So uh, this uh, this actually reduces the file size as well of the uh, it also reduces the file sizes so let's say you have a, a huge file a huge text document if you zip it then it is actually um, compressed so let's say for example you have a text document right over here and in the text document I'm going to write in a lot of things so I'm going to say this is a sentence right over here I'm going to select this paste a bunch of it to so that actually it increases the file size right over here. So let me just save this out and let's see its file size. I'm going to right click go to its properties and over here you'll be able to see that this is 24 kilobytes. And if I were to actually compress it, send to a compressed zip folder, let's see its file size right over here. It's only 240 bytes. So uh, bytes is really less than kilobytes. So you can see that it compressed it almost a hundred times. So it's really small in file size as well. So that is how the benefit. So even if you want to send a single file, you can actually zip it and send it. So the file size is really less and you can send it faster. So that is how you can work with uh, zip files inside of Microsoft Windows 10. Hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.